Hi again, Steve here. We're going to review some uh, right triangle uh, calculations. And so for this particular question, a, it's a little cryptic, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to uh, show you a generic case and then uh, make some assumptions, and, and I'm sure we'll, we'll get you some help here. So it says find x, uh, 90 degree angle and a 64 degree angle, and the side is 18, okay? So uh, what I want to do before going into this is just a quick review of right triangles. So here's a right triangle, and I'm going to call my sides A, B, and C, where C is the hypotenuse. That's the longest side. Well, A, B, and C are related together in a right triangle using the Pythagorean theorem, which is shown here. So C is the square root of A squared plus B squared. The other thing is we have two angles within this right triangle that we don't know. Uh, one's a 90 degree, and then so we know all of the angles in a triangle add up to 180. So um, that leaves us 90 degrees. So A plus B has to equal the 90 degrees. And finally, what I'm going to do is say, well, if I if I know this angle here, B, uh, the cosine of that angle, B, is going to be the adjacent side to that angle, A, divided by the hypotenuse. And the sine of that angle, B, is going to be the opposite side, the one that's not touching that angle per se, the opposite side B over the hypotenuse C. So we're going to take that information, and what I've done here is I said, well, let's go under the assumption that 18 is the hypotenuse, okay, and that 64 is this degree, and, and I'm, I'm going to call this X and this Y, okay? And if it's not uh, exactly the case, maybe 18 is over here and you have to solve for X, um, given this information, you should be able to go through this, okay? So first thing we're going to do is say the cosine of this angle here, 64, is X over 18 using this formula here, right? So B is 64, and then A is X, and C is 18. So if I want to solve for X, what do I need to do? Multiply the right and the left by 18, and what we're left with is X equals 18 times the cosine of 64, which comes out to be 7.89, etc. cetera. Um, hold off on that. That's not the answer, and, and we'll show you why in just a second. Now, let's say um, this wasn't X, but you really needed to find Y, okay? Maybe I messed up where X was, and, and, and maybe this was the side you needed to find, okay? So if I know the angle is here, and I now have sine of 64 is y over 18 using this formula right here, okay? And then similarly, multiply left and right by 18, and I'm left with y equals 18 times sine of 64, okay? So these would be the two sides. However, look at the problem statement. It says round this to the nearest tenth. So where is the nearest tenth, right? This is the tenth. Excuse me. Here we go. And we'll pick a red color with the pen. So this right here, that's the tenth. That's the tenth right there. So if we want to round to the tenth, I look to the number to the right of it. And is it, um, that's nine. So clearly if I round that, that would be 7.9, right? So that one should be 7.9, okay? Bad nine. Okay, and then what about this one? If I look, I want to round this here. Um, and so... 8 would make that what? 2. So that would be 16.2. So always try to answer the question that's being asked. So in summary, um, this is my assumption. Now again, let's assume 18 was not the hypotenuse. Uh, maybe this was 18 right here. Just go use this map right here and move things around and you should be able to uh, find the right answers to the to the problem. And again, please don't forget when you punch these into your calculators, uh, answer the question, which is round to the nearest tenth. And uh, there you go. Thanks for watching.